Church. What? Roke B Park, Methodist Church, Church, 1884. What? You couldn't see from the road. Is this okay? Yes. Definitely have a quick look. Methodist Church, South Africa, Rokeby Park, 1884. Look how pretty this is. Look at the condition. Fantastic, eh? Look how white it is. It looks like it was painted recently. Yes. That is so great to see. Really How cute. Nice, yes. Very cute. Must serve a small farming community. Fantastic. Yeah, that was good. Now, this is a different opening to our video for Grahamstown. We are on our way to Grahamstown and we just passed this beautiful little church. We've got about a 43 kilometer drive to get to Grahamstown and it is known for all its religious architecture. Correct. <laughs> now it, it's a it's such a big place yeah. that I think we're going to be blown away by the churches. Yep. And we're gonna get swept up in our emotions. <laughs> so yeah. Well, I think Grahamstown we're gonna focus on some of the history yep. and some of the architecture. Yes gonna do that and it's raining so and may I just tell you it's called Makanda now oh yes Makanda the name was changed in 2018 to Makanda okay we're on our way to Makanda yes welcome to Makanda Grahamstown I've been here a few times in the past so have you Maybe twice? Yeah, with me. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been here for a long, long time. Man. I'd say again, 10 years. Yes. I can remember nothing, to be honest. Yeah, you know, we used to just drive through. That's, that's it. It's a very, very big place. Yep. The Makana Municipality. It's quite chilly with a window open, eh? Yes, it is. No, let's just make a U-turn. We'll go down here. Okay. What does this look like? A school of some sort or a hospital? Yeah, we'll have to see the sign. Yeah. Ramstown Police Station, massive police go. station. Yeah, okay. it's huge. Don't know which way to go. Tell me. If you want to go the busiest part of town, left. Let's go the busiest part of town. By the looks of things. Oh, <laughs> it's crazy.
luckily there's a break in the drops. Yes, fortunately. Eh? So you're all right. Department of Health building. Look at this one. Commercial buildings. That must have been gorgeous. 1904. All old stores, Saks building. Oh, oh no! Look at that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Compose. Yep. It's we okay. knew that composure was going to be required here. I'm struggling yeah. a little. I'm not looking over there. So it's clearly um, a town full of religious buildings, yes, eh? Yes. I believe over 40 of them. Serious. Every denomination you can think of. So we're not going to be able to cover them all. <laughs> no, I think you've pointed out a few on your maps yeah. that you want to go and have a closer look at. Yes. So. Um, and that's what we'll do in the definitely. time we have. Yeah. I'm just happy to be here because. I think there are some pretty astonishing buildings here. I don't know what this is. Victoria Pre-Primary. That, can that be Pre-Primary there at the back? That's what the sign says. So old? <laughs> oh, maybe it was something else yeah. first. This is also primary school. This is the Victoria Primary School. Okay. No, these old buildings, yeah, let me tell you. Yeah, we say that the British settlers came in 1820, but I think this town was actually established in 1820. So it's not just, you know, yeah. library. Victoria, Victoria Girls, Girls High School. school. <laughs> oh, I saw a sign that was pointing to the... Oh, maybe their library. Yeah, that's their library in the, on the campus. <laughs> oh, man. well. Oh, man. Okay. There's a sign here that says, Music speaks when words can't. That's true. I'm struggling with my words at the moment. We don't have music at the moment either. Canterbury House. It must be a hostel. Very pretty. Ellen Webb Dining Hall. I think you are right. Rhodes University. University. What? <laughs> so this is clearly the education district. Yeah. Mega education place. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's a mother of a building to your right. I wonder what that could be. That's huge. Yeah, that is massive. Can we go there or no? I'm going to try. So, Grahamstown has many names. I see there it says, Welcome to Creative City. <laughs> It's known as Settler City for obvious reasons. It's known as the City of Saints. Crazy. No, there's no way to approach that from here. Can we just have a look? Wow, that's quite a structure. Eh? Yes, it is. Just turned off onto this little gravel road to make a U-turn because it's quite a busy place. And we happened upon this little dam here, just on the outskirts of Grahamstown. Makanda. Nature here is absolutely spectacular. Beautiful. Can't deny that.
water scarce area, eh? Hey? Yeah. This whole area seems to be going through our time. Look at these buildings. Look at this. Chief Makanda Regiment. Drill, drill hall. hall. Again, you see they get me the drill halls every time. Oh, no, this is, I'm going to have to stop you. Look at these buildings. All over the show, yeah. Look at this. Turn in here. This is insane. St. Patrick's Catholic Church. <sighs> and just up the road is that one. Look at the turrets, <laughs> like a castle. Yes, it is. I'm going to hop out here quickly. That's the... <laughs> Old lamppost, not functional anymore, but wow, look at this church. Absolutely stunning. Mission of the Jesuit Fathers, November 1892. It is phenomenal. There's glass planes there. Wow. This is insane. This is just going to drive us crazy today. <laughs> now, Sonia just found out online that the foundation stone was laid on the 30th of July, 1839. Oh, this is the Makana Library. Across the road from the Catholic Church, I think is a synagogue. The synagogue was consecrated on the 19th of August, 1913. Beautiful. I don't know what building that is. There's just so much to see here. 
Look at this place. Oh boy. Look at the the bulk. It's massive. It's like chunky, eh? How could they even have built stuff like this so long ago? Hi? Crazy. It's just the front part that looks is built with a stone. The back is all plastered. You can't see those gothic windows and doors and things yet. But yeah, but on the they side look, is. Yeah. Oh, you, can you see the little bits of them sticking yes. out? But yeah, on the side is also these gothic vents and stuff. Oh, I see. But the big ones are in the yeah. front. Now, didn't you read that there's a ten bell... Oh, a ring of ten bells, yes. yes. I think it's this I one. did. It's this one. But I'm re I, I read so much I gave up afterwards. Look at this. Look at this. It's open. Cathedral, St. Michael and St. George. Crazy. Hundred years is what's on there. Hold on. So this, I think, is the municipal offices or the town hall. There, where that yellowish Volkswagen T Rock is parked. It said yes. parking for the mayor, and right next to it, it says no parking. Speaker. Maybe you can zoom in on those blocks. Okay, that's. There's no getting out here. There's no parking. I'm just double parked here. This foundation stone of this tower was laid at well it was in 1870 it looks like. 23rd of May 1870. I can't make out what that Robert something. We can put it on the screen. Yes. And then to the right there's also another plaque that reads 1820 to 1870 I think. British Settlers Jubilee Memorial Tower erected by public subscription. Right. Fantastic. We can stop here. Oh, we can the, probably stop right in the front there. buildings here are ridiculous. Look at this, Lewis. <laughs> yeah, um, look at this. What is this? Nesbitt's horse, Albany DMT. Is this a war memorial? It looks like it. I'm just going to take a drive around it. The brave men of Albany who died for the empire during the Anglo Boer War, 1899 to 1902. Incredible, eh? Okay, we can park right in front of this church, luckily. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's quiet again. Oh, Ooh, the roads the are road. very bad. <laughs> My seatbelt almost straggled me now. See the detail on this church? Yes, look at those towers. Aren't they incredible? Amazing. Amazing. Do you see a cornerstone? I don't see one. Let me just take a walk to the corners and have a look. All right. And you 
can see that it was a national monument. Now I get why they say it's known for its religious architecture. Oh no, there's nothing two ways about it. Around them. every corner there's an amazing structure. They are incredible, these buildings. It's just that it's the crazy part of town. Yeah, it's hectic. So um, it's not possible to stop and I'm, I'm not comfortable that you leave me alone. No, I know. So we'll have to observe from the vehicle. Look at these buildings. Look at these fronts. Look at this green and white one. Please just look at this green and white. 1880. Oh. M and G. Look at all of these at the top. Crazy. Crazy. And then of course there's this. Cathedral. This is wild. I was so hoping they have a parking lot. Yeah, know. that one could park. Have secure parking and just go in. Yeah. This is incredible. I'm hoping we can find crazy beautiful buildings in a quieter part of town. Yes. Look at these on the right through the trees. Yeah. Here's another memorial. Come back to that. There's just so much. There's generators going, so I think they've got load shedding. Look at this. I'm gonna, yeah. What do you think this is? Private parking for judges only. Makanda High Court. There we go. Okay. South African Library for the Blind. We haven't seen that no. before. They are incredible buildings, yeah. It's a memorial. 1820. 1820. I think it's for the 1820 settlers. Yes, it is. Oh, and there's parking right here. To the British settlers of 1820. Beautiful, eh? Gorgeous. Oh. Those are doctor's offices now. I wonder what that was. And this? It's part of Rhodes University, yeah. Is it? I think. Oh, it is natural yes. science building, must Definitely, be. Yeah, yes. Good call, yes. Look at that cathedral. <laughs> Just taking a drive up and down, eh? religious and otherwise. Exactly. Magistrate's office. Okay. City chambers. What? Well. 
Are we getting to that monument where there was no parking? Have we passed it again? No, I think here it is. There's a parking right behind it here. So I'm going to stop right here. Where is it? No, it's not here. No, I missed it. I think we passed it. There no. was no parking there. Here it is. Ah, and there's yeah. no parking. I think we can quickly... Just zip around it and no. see. Battle of Grahamstown, April 22, 1890. Look at the relief work there, it's eh? beautiful, eh? On this spot stood the tree under which Lieutenant Colonel Graham and Captain Stockenstrom decided upon the present site of the city of Grahamstown, June 1812. What a special one we found! Fantastic! That is wonderful. Incredible. On this spot. That is wonderful. Fantastic. You see the clock face? The numbers are in gold. That's incredible. Here we have a nice view of it. Yes, we do. I just want to change lanes here. Now, when one hears the word cathedral, you're kind of just already in awe, right? Yes, definitely. And then the buildings look like this. <laughs> and then even I am quiet. I just want to say that we've received messages from some of our viewers who said that Grahamstown or Makanda has got so much to show us. And I want to agree with you. <laughs> We're a little overwhelmed with everything we're seeing right now. <laughs> yeah, um, more than a little, I'd say. It's just incredible. Yeah. No, this is wild. Hopefully we're getting to a quiet part of town. I hope so. Looks like it, eh? It does. It does. It's just very difficult with so many cars and people. All right. Okay. What is written over there? Oh, it's just That's accommodation. accommodation. That just looks very old. Th these walls look yes. very old. And there where that garage door is yeah. also looks very old. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, no. Let's see what it's called. Christ Church Anglican. Established 1876. Now here it's easy for you yeah, to get out. Yeah, now I can out. get out yeah. and take a walk around. So I found someone who's going to let me in.
This is incredible. Oh, I love this. A lot of places have memory walls, but yeah, they call it the Harris Garden of Remembrance. Fantastic. Unreal. Unreal. You walk below this massive stone structure. You get that period feeling, you know, like in the, in the Gothic. Wow. With the knights and everything, that, that, that crazy feeling. <laughs> King Arthur's days. And I don't see cornerstones. So I'm so glad that they do say when it was established on the outside. This is the castle building. Oh, so it's the Department of Education. Oh, fantastic, we can take a drive. Yes. It's a beautiful building, eh? Wow! Squeeze if you can see a date. There's I a can't. memorial tower. Um, said, raised by past. I can't make it out. This is such a beautiful building. And there next to it is the modern one, hey? Yes. That but I like that they got the stone with yeah, in between yeah. to try and get it similar yeah, to this. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. But look at this fountain. It's a pretty, the fountain is not working anymore. Yeah. Really pretty. And then is there anything? No, there's nothing there. Okay, so. fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful. Love it. Pretty building. I just want to see because there they refer to Aiden Knights. Yes. And here I saw something about was it St. Aiden? St. Aiden's Manor, which okay. probably is a hostel. Most probably. What do you yeah. think? Yeah. <laughs> oh. We can drive in here, do you know that? No, we can't. It's this thing? for pedestrians that only. Oh. Yeah. What is this? I've got no idea. Oh, yes, a massive church building in front of us. It's a too. bell tower, this. Yes. I don't know. Around every corner, there's a massive building. This is on there some are, campus, yeah. There are. Are these two church? Oh, it's one. Massive church building. Yeah. 
Oh, there's lots of parking, so we should be able to see. Here's a cornerstone. To the glory of God, the stone was laid by the Bishop of Grahamstown on St. Andrew's Day 1905 in memory of past Andrians who fought and fell in South African wars 1877 to 1902. No, no, this is just crazy. Look at these buildings. St. Andrew's College. That's why they call them Andreans. Yes. Oh, look at those windows. But this is wild. So we happened upon that fantastic monument that told us um, the place that Grahamstown got started. Remember? Yes. So I want to read how it got its name too. Grahamstown was founded in 1812 after the Fourth Kosa War as a military outpost by Lieutenant Colonel John Graham. Okay. As part of a campaign to secure the eastern frontier of the Cape Colony. Initially, Colonel Graham decided to establish his headquarters on the Lone Farm No. 2, now known as Table Farm, but at the recommendation of Ensign Andres Stockholmström. Yes. It was moved to the homestead of the Lone Farm de Rietfontein, belonging to Lucas Meyer. Construction on the new headquarters, located on the site of the present church square, thus began in June 1812. Incredible. So there we get the Graham of Grahamstown. You check there was a mayor also involved, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so you told us now, you explained to us about how Grahamstown got its name and how it got it started. Yes. But in 2018 it was renamed to Makanda. Yes. After a famous Tosa warrior named Makanda Kantele. Yes, Makanda was apparently a warrior and a prophet. Yes. Very cool. Oh, look at the trees around the Department of Botany. <laughs> they picked their spot. Yep. They picked their spot. Oh. All right. Albany Museum, Provost. This is for sure a very, very beautiful town. No, stunning. Oh, but did you know that, that uh, Grahamstown was the second largest city in South Africa after Cape Town? Until 1860. That's crazy. Eh? So, it, no wonder it's got so many incredible buildings. Yes. It was a big place long ago already. So I think you've got plans by the looks of things. Yes, ma'am. We're going fairly high up here. I think the view from the top here is going to be spectacular. Is that the building? Oh. This is the fort. We, the cannons. Yeah, look at that. We are on top of Gunfire Hill here at Makanda and this is Fort Selwyn which was built in 1836 for the Royal Artillery. Look at those cannons. Check them cannons. Fantastic. To be honest, I think you couldn't find a better location to protect the town from attacks than yeah. And no wonder they call it Gunfire Hill. <laughs> because it can 
look over the whole of Grangetown or Makanda. So I see the wall of the one side is broken so they've enclosed it here so that people can't get inside and hopefully they're going to repair that wall soon check there you can just see the bit of the cannon sticking out there amazing Looks like there's some event going on here for um, traditional leaders or something, it looks like it to me. So I'm not going to go inside, but I just want to show the 1820 Settlers National Monument. It's a massive building. There's a massive rock with an E carved out on it. And the same on this side. I wonder what for. This stone was laid on Settlers Day, 4th September 1967 by the Honourable Mr. B.J. Foster, Prime Minister of the Republic of South Africa. Okay. Look at the size of this place. It's enormous. And yes, another monument. On September 3rd, 1962, this stone was unveiled by State President Charles Robert Swart, dedicating this precinct and all within it as a monument to the achievements of the 1820 settlers and their descendants in the development of South Africa. Hello, 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 hello. How busy the parking lot is. So it's some Africa Day celebrations. Yes, I thought it's some traditional leader thing because they dressed up in traditional clothing. So it's Africa Day. That's fantastic. Such a cool monument, this. Okay, 
Why don't you all stand there? Yeah. <laughs> what, what are you going to say? What are you going to say about us? No, I'm just going to say everybody's celebrating Africa Day. Yeah. <laughs> so there are four countries here. Four countries? Yeah. Okay. Algeria, Nigeria, Kenya, Zambia. Fantastic. South Africa. <laughs> Fantastic, eh? That's wonderful. Let's, let's, let's hold hands. Yeah. I'm actually recording you, eh? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you did already i've got you perfectly and it was all natural <laughs> thank you guys thank you very much Yes, <laughs> there is only one Africa. That's true. You know, it's, it's incredible. We arrive in a place on a random day, yep. a random Thursday in May. Yeah. And um, this is what one happens upon. It's fantastic. Makanda. Grahamstown. <laughs> Our silence says it all. It was fantastic. No, no, incredible. I just don't know what to say about all those buildings. All the history. Ah, it's just crazy. <laughs> Everyone must come to Makanda and come and check it out. It is unbelievable. Yeah, and it's all I can say. So much we didn't get to see. But fortunately there are other trips we can do it in. Yeah, no, it's time to move on. Yep. Makanda was fantastic. <laughs>